morning. Welcome to this week's vlog. It is Friday the 3rd of January, 56 degrees outside, 6.05 a.m. And as it is customary, I have to adjust the camera. Who would I be if I didn't adjust the camera right after I started the vlog? <laughs> How are you today? I am excited. We travel tomorrow. We are leaving tomorrow morning. So today's vlog could be really long or could be really short. I don't know yet. So what are you gonna see today? Today we are getting ready to travel, so my shorts are falling off. I can't help it. I love to wear them. They are enormous on me, but they're the most comfortable to lounge around the house in. Anyway, um, today I'm gonna be getting ready for our cruise. So we're gonna pack. You're not gonna see a full on packing. That would take me too long. We also need to bake. <laughs> I promised my friends I was going to bring them treats and I am bringing them treats. So we're gonna make some pecan and coconut pecan praline because I'm hoping I can bring it on the ship for me because it's a nice dessert. I don't really wanna be eating desserts on the ship. Um, there are a few that I do wanna have and indulge in and I will, but I don't wanna be eating them every night and to kind of combat that sugar craving, I like to bring something for myself um, and there you go, but I'm, I'm bringing them for myself and hopefully I can get them on the ship. And I'm also bringing them for my friends to share. And we're going to make a chocolate silk pie, the no-bake silk pie out of this. Um, I'm making that today. I have my pasteurized eggs, so it's this one. And um, our friends, the Slowinskis, Carl and Donna, Team Carl, he loves this, he absolutely loves this. We had it in Pensacola and when we saw them last, I didn't bring it and he was so disappointed and that's absolutely the last thing I wanna do for any of my friends is disappoint them. So I wanted to be sure I had that this time. But we did get in two more Christmas cards and you guys, I love this. I love when you send me, oh, almost dropped it in my coffee speaking of. It's time for the Lego mug. It's time. This is wishing you the best holidays from Susan Charles John and the Fur Babies of Windy Acres Farm and Windy Acres Travel. This is the best card. Look at this. Is that not, look, look at all her fur babies. Okay, um, she says that I may share this on the channel. So that's why I'm showing you the whole card. So it says, Wendy is the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. Gracie is the Husky Miss Mix. Rex is the Aussie puppy, and Miles is on the tractor. The kitties are Hannah, Scrambler, and Chubby, our 11-year-old kittens, all beauty and tough. Oh, a toughy. Uh, and so, and they are a travel agency, Windy Acres Travels, WindyAcresTravel.com. I don't know, is it a travel agency, or is this a place you can go? I need to look it up. Um, Oh, no problem with you. Okay. But this is from Susan. From Susan. Yeah, Susan. And um, in Waxahachie, Texas. Now, I think I've told her before. I love saying that. Waxahachie. I need to go to Waxahachie. Seriously. Um, because this, it's, I love saying the word. But look at all her babies. Look, he looks like little bit. Any place that's surrounding everyone with animals is the place for me. Absolutely love it. Look at this baby. Oh, it's not gonna focus. There it goes. Oh, just absolutely love it. You guys, we, look at these. Ah! That must be the kittens. That They must be our 11 year old kittens, Beauty and Tuffy. Um, I gotta tell you, next year, Rob and I are gonna be on the ball. That is my goal, no, this year. It is already next year. Rob and I are gonna be on the ball and we are doing cards like this. Now, this one. Okay, you guys, when this came in, Rob called me. He's like, babe, we got a card from the Fenwicks. And I was like, what, where? Which Fenwicks? <laughs> Cause there's lots of us. And he was like, it says airmail. Let me make sure their address isn't anywhere on here. No. It says airmail. Uh, first of all, by by air par royal mail. That's what it is. I look and then look at the stamp. You guys, I was giddy. Now there's a long note in here which I'm not going to show you, but this is from the Fenwicks overseas. 
you, I, first of all, we want to go to Scotland. I don't think they're from Scotland. No. No. We want to go to Scotland so bad. Wait, Rob and I were so immature and young when we got married that we refused a, a Scottish wedding. Do you know how much I regret that? Do you know how amazing that would have been to have an actual Scottish wedding? I look back on that now. I was naive. I didn't really know what that meant. Would I love to have a do-over? You betcha. To see my husband come out full on kilt and me come out in, in, a, in a true Scottish wedding dress. <gasps> oh, yes! With the sash and, oh yeah, mm -hmm. yes. Anyway, so the Fenwicks from the UK, thank you. I love this. I love this. Now, we are leaving. So I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to make it because I don't know how to mail overseas to you. I um, also wanna learn because I wanna send something to Elliot. So um, thank you. That, that's just awesome. Thank you so much. I am literally beside myself, thank you. And um, I will leave this linked below, uh, wendyacrestravel.com. I will leave her linked below. Um, I've never worked with her, I, you know, ob obviously. Um, and, um, but anybody who is from Waxahachie, Texas, is my friend. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will definitely be mailing you back uh, cards. And, um, but dear friends, dear Fenwick friends in the UK, um, it may take a little bit of time to get there. And as you guys know, maybe you don't know, we've been watching, we watched The Crown, like, we binge watched it. We, quick. And then we were like, in withdrawals. We were like, I need something to watch. And Rob found Victoria on Prime Video for PBS Masterpiece Theater. <gasps> oh, I love it even more than I love The Crown. Victoria, I don't know if they're, I need to ask Elliot. I don't know if they're depicting her truly how she was, spunky and and beyond her time, but I love her. I just love her. Um, and the actress is beautiful. Just, uh, just to look at her, I'm like, you were so beautiful. Um, anyway, I just, I love it. And it's in a cliffhanger. Season three ended in a cliffhanger and it's actually on hiatus. Like, they don't know if it's coming back. And I'm like, oh, no! Now, of course, you can spoil it by going and, and learning the history, which we have. I mean, it's based on factual events. How much is fabricated on factual events? I know they, fab they like, embellished her sister for drama effects and things like that. But um, anyway, I gotta watch it. Okay, I'm talking too much. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Well, I was coming in the front room to film my uh, Stitch Fix video, which I forgot to cancel my Stitch Fix, which is why it's here. Um, but they did just renew my pass. The yard guys are here. Every time, it never fails. Stitch Fix strikes again. I mean, every time. Oops, I was just Every time. I love this bag from Stitch Fix. I really do. Um, so, in case you didn't watch the video from yesterday, I'll pop that up here in a card. I'm keeping this, and I'm keeping this. Now, I filmed it today, but it's showing, it's gonna be, go up next week, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it up Thursday or Saturday or whatever day, so if you didn't watch, of course, I'll leave it linked for you. This is by Urban Expressions, and this was in there, and I love it, this top two. Yeah. And this is why I don't want to get subscription boxes too often because they always send me things I love and it's so hard to send it back. And that is the idea behind the Stitch Fix and all of these subscription boxes is they know once they get it in your hands in your house, it's more difficult to send back. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then I'm gonna get busy because I need to pack. You ready? We gotta pack together. You ready? Okay, it's time to start baking. I'm chopping pecans, which is a gingerly, no, which is a, what is the word I'm looking for? You do it carefully because they will fly all over the place. And yes, I could pop them in my food processor and this process would go much faster. A little bit, do not come over here. 
No sir, cutie pants. And they wouldn't fly on the floor, but we gotta do what we gotta do. So I'm gonna start with the pecan praline, and then I'm gonna make the silk pie. And, um, you know, I've shown you all of this before, just recently, in fact. So no need to go, oops, I didn't see, I keep dropping it on the ground, but I want a nice chop on these because it's going in the praline. I'm gonna say it again, I said it during Vlogmas, and I'm gonna say it again here. Somebody heard something fall on the floor. No ma'am. Um, I love these pralines. I really do. Now the problem is, I made them the first time using xylitol, which from what I understand is extremely toxic to pets. So I am, I don't, I don't like making it with the xylitol, but I'm gonna use up the xylitol because I purchased it. And I feel like in this circumstance, it's the right sugar. The, she didn't call for a substitute and in other recipes she has, it uses, you know, erythritol. Anyway, so I feel like it's important to the recipe that I use the correct sugar, but I want you to know I'm not comfortable with it. And every single time I eat these cookies or these praline, I like am standing over the sink and it's not comfortable for me. I, yeah. So afterwards, when I'm not making them for friends, when I am just making them for me, um, I'm going to try them with alternative sugars. A little tip about this, I just wanted to go over very quickly. You're making a caramel when you're making these praline, okay? You have got to go slow and low. You cannot rush this process. If you rush it, you will scald it or burn it. So you have to go nice and easy and be very patient. Um, I did decide to go ahead and make a double batch of this. So what I do, I put everything in the pan and then I put it on the heat before no, let me rephrase that. I put everything in the pan and then I prepare the other ingredients. So there's my coconut and pecans and here's my vanilla sitting here waiting to go in um, once I once the caramel is ready. So you wanna you wanna just stir this. All you have to just stir. Sit here and stir. Put on something on the television chat on the phone, do something to pass your time so that you don't lose your patience. Um, because all you can do is wait. And when it starts to turn the slightest bit brown, that is when you've got to really pay attention because it will go from brown to that amber brown color pretty quickly and then it'll go to burnt real quick. So you want this to just simmer. You see we've got just, oh, yeah, just a simmer on it. I'm yelling at you, I'm sorry, I'm excited. <laughs> and you just stir. That's all you do is stir and let it go. All right, there we go. Um, I did turn up the heat a little bit to get it to simmer, just a little bit, but it's complete and now I need to, before it cools down, you gotta get it out of this pan and over to the other pan. Um, ready to go. Um, it's so good. It's so, so good. Now, I let mine go a little bit darker. Uh, the recipe doesn't call for it to get this dark, but we, it gives it a little bit more of a nutty flavor, and we really like that. Or, excuse me, I really like that because I'm the only one that eats these. Okay, there it is. Now, it's very light. Um, I use semi-sweet chocolate instead of dark chocolate, and for some reason, I feel like I made a different recipe last time. So, I want to try and see I want to look and see if I made something different. So now all I have left to do is to make the whipping cream. So I'm going to clean everything up. I got to clean the utensils and all that stuff to make the whipping cream. And I'm going to put the whipping cream in this to take with me. But this is complete and uh, it tastes good. It's just not as rich as the last time I made it. So either the eggs are different, which they could be a different brand or um, I don't know. It could be a different recipe. That's my husband. Okay, everything's baked, everything's good. I love this cookbook. Uh, this is the Easy Keto Desserts. Again, I've told you, you can find a majority of these type of recipes on Pinterest. Not specifically out of this book, but similar recipes. But I do find myself going back to this one. Uh, sugar cookie bars, which 
Honestly, if you use the sugar cookie bars as the base of this pie, it's even better. <laughs> um, but yeah, so those are good. And then uh, the French silk pie, the frosting. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, it's a good book. Anyway, I haven't even started baking out of that new cookbook that I bought. The, let me get it. We'll be baking in it coming up. It's just I haven't had a chance. Yes, I've already had a little taste of them to see how they were. You guys, it's like the world's most perfect cookie. It's not a cookie, a little candy. They're not quite cold enough. Ah, that was attractive. I could have gone a little longer in the caramel process and they would have firmed up. They would have been more of a crunchy cookie. This is a little chewy, but I was so paranoid I was gonna burn it because there was two batches in there that I probably cut it a little too soon. Doesn't affect the taste, it just affects the firmness of the cookie. So this one's a little more chewy, whereas the ones I made last time were a little more crisp and chewy. Doesn't matter. It eats the same. Hey, it's time to pack. Oh my goodness, is it time to pack. So it's under my camera, sorry. All my luggage tags here. But I think before I pull out my luggage, I'm gonna go ahead and start gathering the things I'm gonna bring with me. Um, I'm gonna show you just a couple of things and then, um, I don't know, I'll kinda show you when everything's piled up, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so I don't actually put it in the suitcase until Rob is finished pulling all of his things out. But I'll just show you a few of the things that I'm bringing with me and, um, you know. Okay, I got this sweater in my FabFitFun style. I know the light is terrible. It's that purple sweater from Dreamers. I, I love this. I'm wearing this on uh, in the car to the cruise. Um, it's just super, super soft, snuggly. And um, if I get really cold on the ship, I can put it back on. And my Amazon uh, Essentials jeans. And I am bringing those with me. So there's that, and you guys recall, we are gonna go to the steakhouse, so I'm gonna bring this dress, which I got from Stitch Fix. This is the Fortune and Ivy sweater dress. I'm bringing that. I know the light isn't great. Um, I'll see if I can link, link that Stitch Fix video up here. That is coming with me. Um, I'll talk about that in one second. And if you recall my last FabFitFun style, these two tops were in it. Those are both coming with me. And we, again, we have a dinner at the steakhouse. We have two nights there. I'm gonna bring this for one night to wear with my jeans, actually. And the dress, the sweater and Ivy, the Fortune and Ivy dress from Stitch Fix will be another night that I wear there. But I just love this. This came also in my FabFitFun style and um, I, couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. I love it. So um, this dress is coming with me. I just think it's fun. Again, fat fit fun style. Are you sensing a theme here? That box has been killing it for me. A blue sweater to go with everything. And um, I'm going to go ahead and bring, it's inside out, I was line drying it. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this shirt, which I got from Stitch Fix. Um, so I can wear it to the Italian restaurant or any of the other restaurants or just around the ship in the evening, just because I think it is such a pretty shirt. Actually, you know what? I probably am not gonna bring this one. That was a that was that was a tail. Never mind. My thread tank shirt, beach hair, uh, tan lines, and lots of sunshine. That's coming with me, just in case. So, this is the shirt I got from Natalie Attire that will go great with that blue sweater. This is the shirt I want to bring. Um, I got this out of my Amazon Prime wardrobe. I just love this little shirt that's coming with me. And this little tie top out of my FabFitFun style box. I love that. It's coming with me. This is another tank from Stitch Fix. Now, um, this is a wetsuit jacket. This is a neoprene, Addie's rolling around on the floor over here. Sorry, I stepped on a frame. This is a neoprene jacket. Um, I got this to swim in the ocean, the Gulf, wherever it is we're swimming, um, the Caribbean. I'm always so cold in the water. This has a terrible smell to it, which I'm told will go away. Um, but we'll see how this works. If it works great, obviously you'll know, I'll tell you, but we'll talk about it more in the cruise vlogs. 
Um, I had to buy a size small, which is a four six, and it fits. It it fits, but it it fits. Like it's it's. If I go up a size, because just for my own comfort level, it, it's snug. It fits the way it's supposed to fit. For my own comfort level, I would would really size up in it, but then it's not snug. As it is, it's too big in the wrists. It's, you know, it's not snug up here, so I'm worried water's gonna get in, but we're gonna see, we're gonna try it out. We will try it out. I'm gonna keep trying wetsuits until I find the right one. Um, because even in the summer, I'm cold. I'm cold in the Caribbean, so I need something. Alrighty, now I picked up, as you know, my loft shorts don't fit me properly. They've always been, odd for me and I talked to you about finding shorts on clearance in my last cruise if you watched that cruise vlog I found some here they are they were from Kohl's and they were marked down so I'm going to try them on very quickly and just to make sure they are comfortable and that they fit comfortably I will be right back oh they fit like a dream oh I love them yeah they're still they're white shorts I always feel like you can see through white shorts oh the pockets pockets are stitched <laughs> That's funny, but I do, I gotta unstitch the pockets, but I really, really like them. Um, I don't know that they're still available. If they are, I will definitely link them for you, but they were from Kohl's and they were marked down like a couple of months ago. So they're probably not there anymore, but I bought two pair of black and two pair of white. So those will be coming with me. Um, oh no, I'm sorry, I bought one pair of black and two pair of white. As I don't really wear black shorts, I usually wear white shorts, so. Okay, let me finish this. Okay, so I'm probably not gonna bring the sweater. I'm probably gonna bring my jackets that you guys have seen me wear a bajillion times. This one's the navy one, and this one's the white one I wear on every cruise. They're so comfortable, and they're easy, packable, wearable, lightweight, but warm. I love them. So those are definitely coming. Um, I have two running outfits just in case they get super sweaty um you just never know when you're running what like it depends upon the temperature here's my and then here is a pair of black leggings i need to put get a shirt for that like a like a i'm sorry i know i'm out of screen like a sweatshirt or something um and then my bathing suit i have right here i did get a new bathing suit um, my other one was getting a little too big and i just thought this one was cute guys know I'm a tankini girl but I wear shorts just thought that was cute like that but I need to find my other bathing suit I, I'm gonna bring my Pensacola sweater I love this one I have a black tank that I wear under it let me get I don't even remember where I got this but I absolutely love it I think it came in a subscription box like FabFitFun style but it's like silky it's a silky tank and it actually because it's well it used yeah. to be Oh, Eddie, it used to be clingy. Now it's it's kind of loose. Who's this by? Onesie, O-N-Z-I-E, flow. Oh, O-N-Z-I-E dot com. I'm going to have to see if I can find it. I really like this, and I love to wear it under, like, hoodies and tank tops, like, I mean, uh, little lightweight sweatshirts like that. It gives a little more warmth to it. And um, this is like very low v-neck. This is a good one to bring also. Um, I just love it under that kind of thing. Works for me. Okay, so as this is Norwegian, I'm going to be packing some nicer clothing, dressed a little nicer, a little more than I would on a carnival ship. You know, I feel like carnival is much more casual than Norwegian. I'm not saying they have this dress code. Just for me personally, that's how I feel. So there are the clothes I'm bringing. Now I gotta pack up the makeup, pack up all the hair care, you know, all of that. Um, here is our sunscreen. We do uh, use Reef Safe sunscreen, and we did discover in this last cruise we needed bug spray. So there's that. It's all Reef Safe, and I think we're good. I don't bring a whole lot on my cruises. Um, I usually bring. Okay, so port days, you wear what you wore into port and then you wear something different after your port day because you either get sweaty, salty, sandy, dirty, one way or the other if you have an excursion type thing, which we have an excursion in every port. So I typically bring two things to wear on a port day. Rob typically brings, it depends upon the time of the year of the cruise, but he typically brings two shirts per port day and then um, a sh pair of shorts for every other day. You don't have to change it. 
seriously, unless you get sweaty. If you get sweaty, then he changes his shorts, shorts. Um, so that's just kind of the rule of thumb. We just don't bring a whole lot. But like I said, this cruise, I will be bringing a little more than I normally bring because it's Norwegian. And I feel like you need to be dressed a little bit nicer. So there you go. And I'm bringing the blue and the white jackets because last time I regretted not bringing both. So there you go. One more thing we definitely bring are these microfiber towels. I love these. They're small, well no, they're full size towels, but they're small to like carry with you in port. And they're lightweight even when they're wet. Yes, you can take the cruise lines towels off the ship, absolutely, and bring them back. But when they're wet, when they're dry, they weigh so much and they're huge and they take up so much room in your bag. These don't, in fact, they're, they're folded big here. Um, I did wash them after our last cruise, but mm, I want them to smell fresh and super fresh. I'm about to wash them again and put them with my favorite, um, laundry detergent, my uh, oh, glamorous wash. Oh, yeah, and then they smell so wonderful the whole cruise. And I just, after we use them in port, I throw them out on the balcony over a chair in the sun and they dry super duper quick and they're good for the next day. Um, if you get, like maybe if you get them dirty or something, there's laundry on the ship typically. Typically there's laundry on the ship, so we, you can just run them in a wash real quick there if you want, or you can just shake them out they're microfiber towels, so they're pretty much, and you're good to go. So, I mean, I wash them when I get home, but you know, typically three port days, you're okay. They'll be okay. And never without our water shoes. Um, these are the flexible sole kind. I love these water shoes. We've had them since our second cruise, and I've never replaced them. It's always the same ones. We did forget them once, and we had to buy water shoes in port, and they were terrible, terrible water shoes. I did not like them at all, and they were so expensive. These are no longer, these particular ones are no longer sold on Amazon, at least I can't find them, but um, I always have a pair linked because I love them. Okay, you guys, I think this vlog's gotten long enough. Um, I'm just gonna throw some ratio bars in my bag and, um, you know, my makeup, skincare, hair care, stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna do separate videos on all of that. I've gotten several people asking me for stuff like that, and that's coming in the new year. And a, I want to bring you a higher quality video. So that's coming. Those types of videos, I've kind of done a little bit of them before but um, I wanna bring you a much higher quality video. So that's why I didn't wanna rush through um, the laundry in the hallway and there's hair on my face. I didn't wanna rush through that today. So there you go. All right, you guys, well, when you're seeing this, we're home. So um, I'm excited, I can't wait. It's gonna be a long drive to New Orleans tomorrow. Um, if you don't follow us on Instagram, um, you should. I will leave it linked below and I will be doing Instagram stories all week on the cruise as I always do. And um, so if you didn't see that, you can go to my Instagram page and then um, it's saved. So you have to j click on my profile, go to my profile page and you'll see it there um, because they will have already passed obviously. So you can see it there and then you can see some pictures from the cruise and stuff like that. I try and stay up on Instagram. Also, those stories will also post to Facebook, but they don't stay, I can't save them to Facebook like I can on Instagram. So you have to kind of see them on Instagram. You can use Instagram on your computer. I don't know if you can see stories on your computer. I have no idea. Maybe somebody can answer that in the comments. So there you go. But I'm just gonna pack up the rest of this stuff and um, get it in a bag, get my fan, my snacks, all of the stuff I always bring, but I'm trying to bring less. Um, maybe a little more clothing this time because it's Norwegian and I'm also kind of not knowing what I'm going to want to wear if I'm going to be cold, if I'm going to be comfortable or warm, I'm not sure. So I kind of am playing this cruise by ear, <laughs> so to speak. I don't know. So we'll see. I'll talk about what I didn't need and how I felt when we get back or in the weekly vlog, you know, which will be a sneak peek. So that's what you'll see next week is the sneak peek. All right, you guys, you are the best. You really are. Please give this video a thumbs up. I know it was kind of a funky vlog this week, just one day, but sometimes that's what we have to do. Kind of re get getting caught up after Vlogmas, you know, cause it's January 3rd. So I'm um, getting back on to a normal schedule and I need to have time to get this video edited and uploaded so that you can watch it next week. <laughs> so, all right, you guys. 
Thank you so much. Please give this video a thumbs up. I hope you'll subscribe and stick around. And if you are new, I'd like to welcome you. And thank you so much for joining us. Um, 2020 is going to be a great year. I'm very excited. So happy new year again, and we will see you next time. Bye.